We don't want one of his butt hairs to be hurt. Or the dingleberries that dangle there from. All right. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have gone off and made a joke. I apologize. It's just that it's, we all know he has an official groom with a stool that takes care of that for him. The point is, so does the Queen of England. Actually, the president does have a, a, a toilet they ship around with him because, because they're afraid foreign agencies might get in the hotel room next door or something and pipe in and get it. I'm not kidding, folks. To type into the search engine, presidents carry toilet with them. And uh, I'm not joking. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. See, I said I'd cover a bunch of news. Okay, I've covered like three of the things. Sebelius resigns. Holder says it's racist if you don't worship him as God on earth uh, and are against his criminal activities, the Fast and Furious, you name it. Uh, Senator Sessions gave a five-minute, incredibly powerful speech where he said that the president is in a deliberate plan to collapse U.S. law enforcement system on the border. Absolutely. As much as I didn't like being harassed by Border Patrol down at the border, Actually, once I got there and saw one over three days, I was like, oh, my God, we're wide open. It's true. And that's being reported everywhere. Wide open, ladies and gentlemen. But when you go fly on an airplane from, say, Dallas to Denver, you're going to be harassed and asked questions. Internal checkpoints. They're setting up internal TSA checkpoints on the highways and everywhere. And it was creepy to be down there and to never see Border Patrol until I go to the Border Patrol checkpoint and one guy walks out. And just waves us through. And I was like, hey, I wanted to bitch and complain about being a citizen and being harassed. What? And I realized, oh, my goodness, there's no border. <laughs> I mean, whoa, was that a wake-up call? I was like, where's the Border Patrol? Where, where are they? I went all over the place. No one. Zero. 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 And it's being reported all over. They got the Border Patrol 100 miles in, pulling citizens over and beating them up. That's coming out in the news under orders. You got the other Border Patrol being shot at and hit in the head with rocks and acts of love. I mean, this country is being collapsed on every front right now. We got that coming up. We got Cliven Bundy exclusive. Uh, out there uh, joining us. You know, you know, I love Fox News. I really do. We broke this story nationally a few weeks ago. Drudge put it out internationally. And then everybody, Fox, Glenn Beck picked it up. And then we're out there and Fox News shows up and goes, we have the filming rights on the Bundy Ranch. You can't be here. We're like, we're not going to argue with you. Mr. Bundy, just drive five minutes off the edge of your ranch and let Fox News claim they control everything. Because they're there just basically calling the shots. People go, well, it is Fox News. Better do what they say. I mean, what a joke. Fox News' biggest shows have three and a half million viewers. I have that many listeners a day. But there's the pump and the circumstance and the, the sponsorship. That's why I built a big studio we're getting ready to use that looks like a Fox News studio. And at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm better than you, Fox. Because that's all it comes to is how, how fancy your suit is. In fact, I think, I think I'm going to go ahead and go out and buy $3,000 suits and go ahead and get the perfect tie and go ahead and get a woman to put makeup on me every day. I mean, I'm already starting to do it. You want me to do that? I will do it all, okay, if it means I can save this country. I won't come in here wearing a T-shirt anymore. How's that sound? Right, I'll go ahead and suit up, do the whole tie. How's that sound? And if the photo op matters, I'll land in a private jet with news media there if that gets people to listen. No, I'm not going to do that. The point is, is that we're in a war, folks. And the good news is Boehner, on top of Sessions coming out and saying we're seeing a deliberate criminal takeover, and two Texas congressmen saying it earlier in the week, now the dominoes are falling, the, 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 the dam has broken, the train has left the station, Humpty Dumpty has fallen, and all the propaganda and all the race card baiting, can't put it back together again. Now Boehner, John Boehner has come out and said... We are seeing basically criminal activity and criminal stonewalling in the IRS criminal activity. Yeah, that's hardcore Soviet-style political persecution. And I'm telling you, if Holder doesn't go to jail, like John N. Mitchell and many others, I can say, I thought about this, what we know Holder's done is 50 times Nixon. You know what John N. Mitchell did? He obstructed congressional investigations and reportedly knew about 120 names in a file of people's IRS records. <laughs> 19, 19 months in jail for that. Look at Holder, man. 
he is committing every crime under the sun publicly. And when you say something about it, he says, watch it, buddy. You don't want to go there. I'll play the race card. Oh, please don't throw me in that briar patch, you race baiting criminal. You've heard about the lowest price promise at Emergency Essentials, but did you know right now you can save $100 on a Catadyne Pocket Micro Water Filter? While supplies last, get 40% off a personal emergency kit, 43% off Red Feather Butter, and 46% off the Victoria Hand Grain Mill. And don't forget, you can save over $250 on the year's supply of basics. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Jessica Armand here, creator of My Magic Mud, the all-natural teeth whitener and strengthening remedy that's getting rave reviews from GCN listeners. Here's what Austin dentist Dr. Griffin Cole has to say about it. I really love this Magic Mud product. Because charcoal is so absorbent, it's very effective at taking off all the sticky plaque and debris that gets stuck on our teeth every day. I highly recommend My Magic Mud. Visit MyMagicMud.com to hear the full interview with Dr. Cole. Get your jar today. That's MyMagicMud.com. We travel so much, and having a fake TV, well, it gives added peace of mind. Burglars look for houses that appear to be easy targets. But fake TV can fool even professional burglars into thinking someone is home watching television. As a recent widow living alone, it gives me great peace of mind to set my fake TV near a window and know that passing motorists and pedestrians will think someone is home watching TV when I'm actually away from home. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet, just like a light on a timer. And they're so easy to use, you just plug them in and they're ready to go. Plus, they're so affordable that we have one upstairs and downstairs. Fake TV is only $29.95 with free shipping. Order your fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. What I'm about to tell you is based on information obtained from a little-known government document called FT-900. This bombshell government document contains evidence on what I believe will cause the next 9-11. I've just posted a video at www.next911exposed2.com that not only analyzes the contents of this document, but it walks you through the exact timeline of how and when this 9-11 event is scheduled to occur. Just like 9-11 had a lasting impact on our society, this event will reshape America. It will swipe trillions off markets and retirement accounts everywhere and destroy the way of life of millions of unprepared Americans. But it will also trigger what promises to be the biggest wealth transfer in the history of our nation. But you only have a few weeks left to take all the necessary steps to protect yourself and your family. Just visit www.next911exposed2.com to view my newly released video. Again. That's www.next911exposed2.com before it's too late. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is in the toilet today, down 82 points so far. S&P down... Uh, 7.57. NASDAQ down right now, 18.41. And we've got Mark Faber and others uh, basically saying that the market is waking up to how clueless the Fed is with its QE Unlimited. Well, they're going to try to bring in a giant inflationary implosion, deflationary implosion, 
to cover up the inflationary implosion. So they're totally rigging the entire market globally with supercomputers. But the Chinese continue to buy so much gold along with the Indians that they can't artificially suppress that commodity as well as oil. So it's all going to hell in a handbasket, basically. They're trying to create just a depression to cover up the hyperinflation, and it's not going to work. That's what most top economists are saying. And the stuff economists we were having on five years ago saying this, now that's mainstream news. So that's another big story uh, we're following. Wells Fargo profit rises 14%, though, because Warren Buffett's an insider and controls the insider trading systems and also that endless money that comes up through Mexico that's laundered in Wells Fargo as part of the public record. But cops are going to pull me over and ask if I have drugs right next to a Wells Fargo bank that I can pull up Bloomberg talking about hundreds of billions a year in laundered cash. And nobody gets in trouble. Hey, cop, why don't you go investigate Wells Fargo? Oh, that's the FBI does that, Mr. Jones. Mind if we search your car? I mean, it's just, it's all a total fraud hoax. What a joke. I break with the hoax. I don't live in the hoax. I, I don't live in the fantasy land where I'm racist if I don't worship Eric Holder. Eric Holder. And when I look at Eric Holder, I don't see a black guy. Doesn't even really look like he's black people I know. It looks like a white guy. I might be 10% black. The point is, I see a sniveling crook. But then, when all his crimes come out and Congress finally starts calling him out for being a criminal and saying, you're in contempt of a federal subpoena, you know, you should go to jail, and you did Fast and Furious and got caught lying, and you did Solyndra, and you're involved as a lawyer with all these big banks, and you're involved in all this corruption, and you're involved persecuting all these conservative and libertarian and Christian groups with the IRS and putting people in jail. You're a crook. And his answer is, oh, you're racist, just like Hank Aaron says that uh, you're a racist if you don't like Obamacare. Really, I, I just thought I... Didn't want to lay off some of my crew. I, I thought I didn't want to go bankrupt. I, I thought it was really a bad deal. I actually stayed the bill. Here is Eric Holder. We're going to play this clip of Eric Holder saying attacks against him are ugly and divisive and saying, and he points at himself and he says, you know, this isn't, this isn't about me. It's basically about race is what he's saying. And that no attorney general has ever been treated like this. Really? In 1977, John N. Mitchell Nixon's Attorney General went to prison for 19 months and died in prison for obstructing justice and covering up for Nixon. I mean, this is nothing compared to what Holder did. And let me tell you, John N. Mitchell should go to jail because when you are the head law enforcement judicial officer and you're involved in anything, you should go to jail. But, oh, he's like, I am the attorney general. Everyone's laughing and gasping like I am God. It's like Nixon said, well, it's not illegal when the president does it. Yeah, it is, Nixon. And it's illegal when Eric Holder does it. When Obama said our military is under NATO command, he has the authority to do whatever he wants without Congress because NATO gives him the authority. I mean, that's worse than a dictator. At least he'd be an American dictator. He's saying, I get my orders from a foreign power and the UN. Remember that? I mean, this is all Twilight Zone level. This is all ridiculous. And if they get away with it, the sky's the limit. So here's Holder saying no attorney general has ever been treated like this, knowing the general public doesn't know how many attorney generals have gone to jail or been indicted or had to step down or have been died mysteriously in office to cover stuff up. Let's go to the clip. I'm pleased to note that the last five years have been defined by significant strides and by lasting reforms, even in the face, even in the face of unprecedented, unwarranted, ugly, and divisive adversity. And if you don't believe that, you look at the way, and forget, forget about me, forget about me. You look at the way the Attorney General of the United States was treated yesterday by a House committee. Had nothing to do with me, forget that. What Attorney General has ever had to deal with that kind of treatment? I can pull up John and Mitchell being grilled ten times that. What President has ever had to deal with that kind of treatment? <laughs> Are you kidding? What, what president? So the whole implication is they're black. It's just there's no end to this. Now you see the genius of the globalists putting Obama in as their closing pitcher. Because they're going to go for the Hail Mary, take down the whole country with a couple black guys at the head of it.
hoping that no one will stop them because they're black front men. I mean, this is genius. We're on the march. The Empire's on the, the right. The Rancher's coming up. Breaking Alex news Jones on the standoff the in Nevada. Radio Network.